All right, and up next, I want to work on the user challenge. So essentially, in the app JSX, we want to import this one, the 07 user challenge. And as far as the challenge, we want to set up the state value. In my case, I'm going to go with user, and the default value is going to be null. Then I want you to create two functions, one login function that sets the user equal to a object with a name property. So you simply want to set it equal to object, that name property, and some kind of value. Again, that value is totally up to you. And then we also want to set up a logout button. And for that, we'll need a logout functionality. And in there, I want you to set user equal to a null. So set it back to the default value, which is null. And then in the JSX, use the ternary operator to display two different setups. So if the user exists, we want to go with hello there and then try to get the username. Because remember, we're setting the user equal to an object with the name property. And also, I want to display the logout button. So if the user has already logged in, I don't want to display the login button. That doesn't make sense. I want to display the logout button. And then if it's false, if the user is false, I want to go with heading four and please log in and a login button. So let's start working on this challenge. First, I'm going to go with const. And like I said, in my case, I'm going to go with user and then set user. That is equal to my use and then state. So that's imported and we're going to go with null. That's going to be the default value. And right out of the gate, let's set up those functions. So const login. And that one is equal to a function here. And then I want to go with set user. And I want to set it equal to an object. So name. And in my case, I'm going to go with vegan food truck. Because why not? And then I also want to add here a comment where normally connect to DB or API. So essentially, you're not going to be hard coding this. Normally, you'll connect to the database. If everything is correct, if it's the right password and an email and all that, you'll get back the credentials for the user. And that's where you'll set it in a state value. Now, if it's not, then of course, nothing's going to happen, you'll display probably some kind of error message. But hopefully this is clear. So of course, in this example, we're basically hard coding. We're saying, yeah, once we log in, everything is going to be fine. But it's not always the case. And of course, later in the course, we will connect to a database and we'll check what's happening. And if everything is correct, that's when we set the user. But again, the main idea is going to be exactly the same. You have that flag, the user basically, and if it exists, it's awesome. I want to display it. If not, then I want to go with a logout one. Hopefully that is clear. Copy and paste. I don't need a comment here. I can set it up as null as well. Null. And I want to call it logout here. Let's save this. And now let's work on the JSX. So first I want to display a div. Then inside of the div, I want to set up right away JSX. And I want to go with user. So essentially, I'm checking that user value. And remember, I have two options. If it's true, it's one thing. If not, then it's something else. So let's start if it's true. And again, yes, you can set up a component over here. So if you want to work on the challenge more, you can set up these returns as separate components. So in here, let's go with div. I'm going to set it up as heading four. Remember, in this case, user exists. So we can simply go with hello there. And we can try to access the username. Now, if it's null, then it's not going to make sense, correct? So user dot name. Okay, that's awesome. And as far as the button, well, like I keep saying, we're not going to display the login one. We want to display the opposite one. Which one is that? Well, that's the logout one. So let's go with button class name btn. Okay, that's beautiful on click. And now let's go with our logout button. And the same goes for the text. So log out here. Let's save it. And we'll have an error. Don't worry, we'll fix that in a second. Essentially, we want to grab here this div. And we want to copy and paste. Now, in here, we're working with opposite values, correct? So we're going to go here with please log in. 
and we want to change the button. So this is going to be a login button over here, as well as here. Let's save that and check it out. Now we have div with these values, and the moment we'll click, we'll actually flip it. So notice this is what we have right now in our browser, right? So these are the elements we're returning. However, once we click, check it out. Now we're returning different values. So now we have hello there, vegan food truck. So essentially, we're displaying that the user has logged in successfully. And now he or she has an option to log out. And once we log out, of course, we have the previous screen, the heading four with please log in. Hopefully everyone enjoyed the challenge. And I'll see you in the next video.